See this plant, mom. When I touched its leaves, they shrunk. Why did this happen? I am surprised. There is change in the shape due to change in the amount of water in the plant cell. Welcome to the lesson on coordination in plants. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to understand movement of plants is dependent on growth and independent of growth, plant hormones and their role. When we touch the leaves of a chuimui or touch-me-not plant of the mimosa family, they begin to fold up and droop. The movement happens at a point different from the point of touch. The information that a touch has occurred is communicated. The plants use electrical chemical means to convey this information from cell to cell. So you mean that there are coordinations in plants for sending signals? Yes, the coordination in plants are of two types, dependent on growth and independent of growth. The movement of sunflowers in response to day or night and the movement of leaves of chuimui or touch-me-not plant are examples of coordination of plants that are independent of growth. When the plant bends towards light, this growth is directional and is dependent on growth. Photo means light. Hence, we can say that shoots show positive phototropism while roots show negative phototropism. In case of environmental trigger like gravity, the roots show positive geotropism and Shoots show negative geotropism. Stimulated plant cells release a chemical compound which diffuses all around the original cell. These are called plant hormones. The shoots bend towards light due to the hormone called auxin. It is synthesized at the shoot tip and helps the cells to grow longer. So, the plant appears to bend towards light. Other plant hormones called gibberellins help in the growth of stem. Plant hormones called cytokinin promote cell division and are present in areas of rapid cell division such as in fruits and seeds. What about signal for stopping growth? Yes, the hormone responsible for inhibiting growth is abscisic acid. Its effect includes fall of leaves in autumn season. At the end of this lesson, you are able to understand movement of plants is dependent on growth and independent of growth, plant hormones and their role. 